what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more the walking dead season 4 episode 13 is here today last episode we got to feature mr daryl and miss beth um traveling along they don't know who's alive they don't know who's dead but they're trying to just make the best of it daryl almost losing it you know losing you know i would say i wouldn't necessarily say he's losing his mind but it's more of like a uh, it, it's a fearful situation he's he's in you know what i'm saying and as much as you want to play tough sometimes that fear can be a little bit overwhelming and it'll make you act crazy you know so this whole journey of finding some good liquor they found some moonshine you know um they you know daryl was kind of like reflecting on his dad and you know in, in some little sentiments of merle also um so that was good to see uh, him beth trying to comfort him was a bit of something you don't you, you're not necessarily expecting you know what i'm saying the younger one to be kind of like of a little bit more strong-willed in that moment but it happened you know what i'm saying um even though it's kind of like a front you know for her to keep it together because she's been trying to keep it together you know, and not cry and not, you know what I'm saying, from way back, you know what I'm saying, her boyfriend died, she didn't really shed a tear, you know, she's just trying to hold it down, you know what I'm saying, I don't even think she cried when, when Herschel died, you know, so I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm definitely looking forward to it, man, in any case, man, Walking Dead is one of those shows that I'm really enjoying right now. I know we didn't have an episode last week because I didn't have, a t have time to do it. I would have done it that same Sunday when I was doing all the TV shows that I was doing, but I ended up doing two episodes of the Pacific. So that's the reason why, because I promised to do double uploads for the Pacific to um until it ends, which I have two more episodes of that to do. So if you guys are out there and you're watching The Walking Dead, I know it's not a lot of you guys, um, cause I'm, I'm barely cracking a hundred views on the walking dead. So I know it's not a lot of you guys out here that are actually clicking on this video that subscribe to the channel. So I thank you guys and I really do appreciate it. But anyways, we're going to jump into this episode, man, episode 13, and I will see you guys for the review. All right, so episode 13 of season four is here and gone. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in as always, man. Um, thanks for going and checking out the reaction. Um, so, yeah, man, slowest. I think this is the slowest season we've been through in The Walking Dead. You know, started out pretty hype, but it, it really, really has slowed down, you know. You know, with individual characters in this in 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 this episode, they featured Daryl and Beth, and Sasha, Maggie and Bob. You know, them trying to make that decision to either go to the sanctuary or whatever. And at the end, we saw Glenn finally seeing a sign that is so. Hopefully, he sees one of Maggie's signs or something of the sort. Um, we didn't see they didn't we didn't see the girl that you know that's been with him. I haven't seen her. Um, they didn't show her. I don't know if she's still with him. Um, he's supposed to be with like four people, right? He's supposed to be with like four people. He's supposed to be with that girl and the other three, that dude that they were taking to DC or whatever, um, that soldier guy. So I don't know. I don't know what to think at this point, but I am looking forward to seeing how they're going to wrap up the season with only three episodes left how they're going to wrap this up because um you know people have said in the past that they don't like season four or whatever but sometimes you know you just sometimes you gotta slow i've watched shows um where you know what i'm saying those those middle seasons are sometimes there's not so much action-packed seasons you know are very um quote-unquote boring if you want to call it that which I'm not saying about this because this, this is great storytelling where, you know, everybody gets separated. Now, what are they doing on each other's side? Kind of it kind of like the tree got branched off and now we're seeing their individual personalities, individual leaderships um, in, you know, what I'm saying like features 
that we're seeing about these characters and it's good character development because we all know that Rick is the main character is Rick and Carl and Daryl you get what I'm saying so these other characters getting the time to shine getting on the whole episode for them to shine is great also for you know for themselves for their acting career whatever the situation is so them getting the time to shine absent Rick I don't know maybe something that maybe this was a decision before the season or maybe um the actor that plays rick had another show to do so they structured it this way so that you know what i'm saying he could film his episodes for the season and then go off to go do whatever he's gonna do it could be a situation like that i'm not saying that's what it is but a lot of times when you see stuff like this happen in tv show a lot of times that's the thing that it's scheduling with these actors you know maybe they have maybe they got another gig that they have to do at a certain time period maybe a movie so they have to do their episodes and then you know that they're going to be absent from a lot of episodes and stuff like that until they finish filming they can come back and pick things back up again so it could be that situation so i'm never looking forward to seeing all these characters get back together i think that's going to happen at the end of the season i don't know who else we're going to lose but I have a feeling that we're going to lose a couple characters before the season ends, though. Because, I mean, you know, we lost we, we lost um, Herschel. So, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they'll say, let's go easy on the fans and not let them get a major loss. Because for, for, um, so far, in all the seasons before, we've lost major characters one or two during the season we've already lost one this season so i don't know if they're gonna go ahead and let us lose another one so it's gonna be sad i don't know who it's going to be but i think someone is going to die from the main roster in the show before the season ends but that is yet to see i don't know who it is okay <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man as i said it's not more there's not much to digest just, just straightforward episodes it's just so good to see bob's and sasha's interaction during this episode was very um enlightening to see you know them breaking out their acting chops to kind of bring that emotion to the episode so thank you guys so much i don't know what's going on with beth i'm a little bit worried about her but we he's yet to be seen Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Remember to like the video and also leave a comment in the comment section. Leave a like if you appreciate these reactions, man. And I will catch you guys later.